some problem based on heterogeneous chemical equilibrium in heterogeneous equilibrium that reactant and product both are present in different phases so like this you can see this ammonium hydrogen sulfide is present in solid and these two are present in gases no so now the observed pressure for reaction mixture in equilibrium is 1.12 atmosphere at 106 degree centigrade uh, what is the what is the value of kp for the reaction the so first let us write the reaction NH4 HS this is solid so it is converting into ammonia which is gas and this is your H2S which is gas okay so this is P so this is capital P so this is also P and this will be zero so we know that ammonium sulfide uh, sulfide is a unity this is your unity at equilibrium we are talking about at equilibrium this is given and now one more thing uh, total pressure is also given so total pressure will be your P plus P and it is given here 1.12 so press pressure will be how much so pressure will be your 1.12 divided by 2 so this is 0 0.56 and now we know this when uh, kp is equal to what product of this uh, two gases so partial pressure of ammonia okay and multiplied by partial pressure of h2o h2s hydrogen sulfide they have given pp pressure okay so again we can so solve it so on solving we will get here uh, so pressure is given here 0.56 so multiply it 0.56 into 0.56 so we'll get answer here 0 0.3136 so this is at our pressure atmosphere square okay some solid uh, ammonium hydrogen sulfide is placed in a flask containing 0.5 atmosphere of ammonia so what will be the pressure of ammonia and h2s when equilibrium is reached so ammonium hydrogen sulfide is, is given ammonium uh, ammonia gas and H2 gas Kp is already given here. So right here equation uh, NH4 plus HS it is giving you ammonia plus H2S. So this is only solid, this is gas and this is gas. So initially <coughs> so initial here how much Kp pressure is point uh, one five is given. So initial pressure is point one five atmosphere. So you can write here initial pressure is here this is your uh, 0.5 okay and for h2s we know we don't know that but after equilibrium so pressure after equilibrium will be how much so this is unity this will be your 0 0.5 plus p and this will be your p and now kp kp is also given here so kp is 0 0.11 it is given here so this will not change so we can write here kp is equal to 0.11 and this is nothing but the pressure of the ammonia and multiplied by pressure of the h2s so again you can solve this problem 0 0.5 plus p multiplied by p so we will get answer here so on solving so we will get here pressure is equal to 0 0.1653 so this is the pressure now pressure of the ammonia will be how much so pressure of the ammonia will be here uh, 0 0.5 so here plus and this is zero point this is not zero this is uh how is one six five three so this will be answered zero point six six five three and pressure of the water will be how much so this is zero point one six five three so this is the answers we require to find out When 3.06 gram of solid uh, ammonium, so this is your ammonium NH4HS, is introduced into a 2 liter evacuated flask at 27 degrees centigrade and 30% of solid, this ammonium hydrogen sulfide is decomposed to gas ammonia and H2S. We have to find Kc in Kp for the reaction at 27 degrees centigrade. Then after the second is what would happen to the equilibrium if more solid is introduced into the flask. So, uh, we will see if you add to solid, so it will solid not, so it not involve in the KP in case of the reaction, pure solid. So it will be your second question is very clear, it is solid. So if you add anything, that nothing will happen. But here KP case it depends on the concentration of the gas and concentration of the gas. So here we will find only case in KP. So again same thing is there. So ammonium, hydrogen sulfide, it is converted to ammonia plus h2 and so both these are gases this also gases so initial moles is how much initial moles will be 
and they have given here 3.6 gram so this way 3.6 and divide by molar mass so molar mass of the ammonium hydrosulfide is this much this is zero this is zero and moles at equilibrium so moles at equilibrium will be how much so this is 30 percent solid decomposition so this is uh, out of this 30 percent convert into ammonia so 30 percent of what 3.6 by 51 into 30 percent and here will be also uh, 3.06 of 51 into 30 percent okay this is 30 percent so this is 30 plus 30 percent and this is about 70 percent the 3.6 by 51 into 70 percent so right here 70 percent this is 70 percent this is 30 percent now we can find kc so kc is nothing so kc is we can write here kc is equal to concentration of ammonia multiplied by concentration of sulfide so we know this product this product is 3 point this is given here 3.06 into 30 this is by 51 and this is by 100 so this is the total mole and divide by liter so liter will be your 2 liters given here 2 liters given here so divide by 2 so we will get the answers so how much the answer is that the answer is 8.1 into 10 per minus molarity or square okay so now kp is kc we know that this is kc so kp this is kc we know that so kp equal to kc into rt so rt is again delta n so again you can write here 8.1 into uh, delta n equal 1 10 per minus 5 already this is here and r is uh, 0 0.82 multiplied by and answer t is given here t is 27 centigrade so 300 kelvin and this is square y square because here product is 1 plus 1 2 so 2 minus 0 square is here. so also we will get here 4.9 into 10 to the power minus 2 atmosphere square so this is basically our answer if we look through the questions properly so we will get this answer very clearly uh, sulfide ions in alkaline solutions with solid sulfur to form polyvalent sulfide ions the equilibrium constant for the formation of sulfide and this s2 2 ions and s3 3 ions from s and s ions are 1.7 and 5.3 respectively so 5.3 is calculate the equilibrium constant for the formation of s3 2 minus ion and this ion and s so from this and this this ion we are getting so we have to write two equations okay so equation is for sulfur solid so this is combining with sulfide so they will give you equilibrium one is s2 2 minus okay so from here we can find one kc so kc1 will be your concentration of s2 okay s2 2 minus okay divide by concentration of this is solid this is gas all these are gas okay this is solid so this will omit so we can add only this one s2 minus this is kc1 and value they have given here 1.7 so this is your equation one now second equation again sulfur is combining with the s2 minus and it is giving here already given s3 minus so this is your here s3 2 minus okay so this is again gas this is gas and this is solid so we'll take this and this so again next is kc2 so we can write here second second kc2 so s3 2 minus divide by so this is your s2 minus okay this is again nothing but the 5.3 so already it is given so this is your second equation so from this and this we can see so if you uh, see this one so here what you do so we have, you add this and this so we will get here s3 so this is there so we can put this value so on adding this one uh, s2 2 minus okay and plus s2 2 minus and plus here this is your s2 2 minus and this will be your on adding s2 2 plus minus so on here you add here so first you add 2 here you are balancing this is balancing here so adding okay so adding 1 and 2 okay so we will get here so 2 this is your not adding it will be subtracting subtracting okay so subtracting this minus this so we will get here 2 minus 1 so we will get here s so this is 2s minus s this is s so this will be cancelled 
S21 will be cancelled. So this will be here S3 2 minus S2 2 minus. So all sorbine will get here. So sulfur plus S2 2 minus is equal to not equal to this is S3 2 minus. Okay. So this is this is again solid. This is gas. This is solid. This is gas and this is gas. So again we will connect Kc is equal to S3 2 minus and cos divided by this will be S2 2 minus. Okay. Here we are subtracting. So on subtracting this is again equation number 3. So if you see the compare it. So Kc is equal to Kc 2. So again we can write Kc is equal to Kc 2 by Kc 1 and this is equal to this one. So again we can write here S3 2 minus is equal to S2 2 minus. So we can write here minus 1. So again the value will be same 5.3 divided by 1.7 so answer will be 3.11 so this is the uh, equilibrium constant for the formation of uh, sulfide ions and sulfur so this is our basically answers ok so here we have to keep in mind that this formula you have to keep in mind to solve this basically problem for the equilibrium of lithium chloride 3 ammonia lithium chloride and ammonia it will give you this solid plus ammonia so kp is given 9 atmospheric square at 40 degree centigrade a 5 liter vessel contains 0.1 mole of lithium chloride and ammonia so how many moles of ammonia should be added to the flask at this temperature to derive the backward reaction for completion so here question is so reaction should be going backward direction in 5 liter vessel so how many you are adding ammonia so it will go backward so to backward reaction, first you write this equation, lithium uh, chloride, this is this equation, reverse equation write it, sulfur, uh, solid state and this is your ammonia which is in gas state, so write here 2, so it will give you lithium chloride dot 3 ammonia and which is solid, ok. So initial mole is how much, this is solid, so initial mole will be 0, so initial mole is equal to this will be your uh, this will given high how much so 0.1 mole of lithium ammonia is this. this is a 0.1 mole mm -hmm. so let us take so let take a assume so a mole is added so this is zero so final moles at equilibrium will be moles at equilibrium will be this will be zero this is fully converted to this much so this will be your a minus 0.2 okay and this will be how much so we are getting into 0.1 mole so again for this new cap will be this is the reverse of Kp, so it will be 1 by 9 because we are taking the reverse of equation. Because here, if you take this one, this is your Kp, this is your Kp, and this is your Kp1. So we have Kp1, this will be 1 by 9. So again, Kp1 is equal to 1 by partial pressure of ammonia, and this is 2 is there, so we can write here 2. So 1 by 9 square, okay. So Kp is given 9, so this implies that uh, partial pressure of ammonia will be a square root of 9, that is 3 atmospheric pressure, okay. Now, partial pressure of ammonia, we know that. So moles of ammonia will be, moles of ammonia will be at equilibrium. So moles of ammonia at equilibrium will be, uh, we can use the ideal gas equation, so PV by RT. So this is your moles, N is given here, and pressure, we know that pressure is 3, so 3 already given. This is pressure and volume is given 5 liter and R is given 0 0.0821 and temperature is 40 degrees centigrade that is 313 Kelvin. So answer will be your 0.5837. So this is the moles of ammonia. So total moles will be how much? Uh, A minus 0.2 after the decomposition. So after decomposition, after decomposition, it will be your a minus 0.2 so that is a is how much so a is uh, we have to find out a so a minus 0.2 uh, is 0.5037 so after decomposition so a will be total we have to supply it 0 0.7837 so this one more should be introduced in the ammonia okay so that so we will get in uh, the product 0 0.1 lithium chloride okay so this one more should be introduced in the ammonia so this is basically our answers Under what uh, pressure conditions uh, copper sulfate 5 H2O be efflorescent at 25 degrees centigrade? So, how good a uh, 
drying agent in copper sulfate at H2O at H2O same temperature given that copper sulfate uh, given that copper sulfate 5 h 2 solid and this is uh, converted to copper sulfate 3 h 2 and some molecules of water is comes out and Kp is given 1.086 into 10 power minus 4 atmosphere square per at 25 degrees centigrade. Vapor pressure of water is also given that is 23.8 millimeter air mercury. So vapor pressure of water is given, Kp is given. So we have to find out the pressure in which it can be efflorescent. First, uh, first uh, meaning is what is the meaning of efflorescent? Efflorescent means this is a uh, this is a salt contains water of crystallization. So on heating, some water will be removed from this salt. So this is called efflorescent. Removal of water from the salt is called efflorescent. So this water we can say it is removed out. So after removing, what is the pressure? Okay. So pressure is you can write here. Kp is already given. So Kp is equal to. So in this equation, this is solid and this is solid. This is gas. So it depends only on the gas. So partial pressure of water is given here. This is square and Kp is given here. This much. So partial pressure of uh, we can say uh, of water will be how much? So it will be your inverse of uh, inverse of Kp. So again, Kp is given 1.084 into 10 to power minus 2 okay so this is given uh, in minus 4 and a square root so on a square root we will get here a pressure that is 1.042 into 10 to the power minus 2 atmospheric pressure okay so if you solve it this is the atmosphere so which is nothing but the equal to which is equal to 7.92 millimeter square. So we have to convert atmosphere into millimeters. If you convert it, we will get this equation. Now, partial pressure of water at 25 degree centigrade. So, this is what should be greater than 7.92 millimeter. If this will be greater than this pressure, should be greater than this one. If the pressure, partial pressure of water should be pressure or should be greater than this one, then it will become a good drying agent. Then it will will be proceeding backward direction okay so if the pressure of water is more than 7 point 2 then it will proceed in backward direction if it will be equal to this much then it will proceed in forward direction so this is a basically answer and what will happen so uh, so that is basically our answer this is the condition and what is the uh, drying agent? So, so we have to find the relative humidity. So relative humidity will be your. So we can see here. Uh, so at 25 degree centigrade. So this is uh, pressure is given how much? So pressure is given 7.92. And here partial pressure uh, saturation pressure of water is 23.8. So this is the pressure given. So if you multiply by 100. So we will get the relative humidity. And that is 0 0.33. Or we can write here 33.3 percent. So this is the. Uh, Condition one is relative heat should be 33.3 percent and pressure should be 7.92 millimeter. Then it will go backward in the uh, it will go backward. So it will go forward direction. If it is greater, then it will go backward direction. So this is the basic condition and humidity should be greater than this one. Uh, what concentration of CO2 uh, be in equilibrium with 2.5 into power minus 2 uh, molarity of CO at 100 degree centigrade for the reaction? So this is a reaction given, Kc is already given here. So Kc we can see right here, concentration of, so it is given here CO2, so right here CO2 and this is the concentration of CO. So this will give you 5 and this will give you concentration of CO2 and given by 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 2. So already this is given here. Concentration of uh, carbon monoxide. So from here we can find out the so carbon monoxide. So at equilibrium will be how much? So this is here 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 5. So answer will be here at 12.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 molarity. So this is basically our answer. So ammonium Carbonate is given here. This equation in a closed vessel containing ammonium carbonate is in equilibrium. So ammonia is added such that partial pressure ammonia now equals the original total pressure. So ammonia becomes the pressure of the ammonia becomes the original total pressure. 
So calculate the ratio of total pressure now to the original pressure. The original pressure by total pressure we have to find out. Of what ammonia? So first you write the equation. So this is your NH4 COO. NH2 CO NH4 is ammonium carbonate. So this solid state convert into 2 NH3 and gas and plus carbon dioxide this is also gas state. Okay. So at equilibrium this is your 1 and this will be your 2P and this is your P. So total pressure will be how much? So 2P plus P. This will be your 3P definitely. Now what is KP? So KP is equal to 2P whole square multiplied by P. So this will be your 4P cube. Okay. But uh, 4P, 4P cube is the KP. Now if question is if ammonia is added. So if you add the ammonia, so what will happen then uh, partial pressure of the ammonia will be how much? 3P. 3P. So because they, because they are asking now they equal to the after adding they become the original pressure, uh, partial, original total pressure. The total pressure is here 3P. So if you add this become 3P. So now we can see here KP is equal to 4PQ. So on adding ammonia, so it will become here it is partial pressure of ammonia. So now this is 2 is there. So you connect here 2. So this is your square. This is your new pressure. And again partial pressure of CO2. Okay. So partial of CO2. So here partial pressure of CO2 will be how much? So this we know that this is given in a 3P whole square. So 3P. So we connect here 4P cube divided by 3P. So 3P is the whole square so 3p whole square so here we will get here so we solve it 4 by 9p okay so we uh, now we got the partial pressure of this co2 okay so why we will find out so we know the partial pressure of co2 we know the partial pressure of ammonia so total pressure will be your so here pressure total will be how much so we can add it so this is the partial pressure of ammonia that is partial pressure of ammonia and plus, plus partial pressure of CO2. The partial pressure of ammonia is 3P and this is your 4 by 9P. So total we will get here solving. So it is 31 by 9P. And now, so this is the pressure. We can write the pressure, total pressure now to original pressure. So pressure now, pressure original. That we know very well. So pressure now is 31 by 9 P is there and pressure original so original pressure by 3P so this was the 3P so if you solve it this will become 31 by 21 so this PP is cancelled 9 to the 31 so this is the whole ratio and this is our answer also.